It is the next day and I'm just so happy that I was able to actually go to Chanel's boutique to see their 23S collection, a collection that to be very honest with you, since the day that I watched the runway, there were so many pieces that really pulled me in because I felt that this collection was really classy for Chanel in terms of like seeing a lot of the white and black coming back again, just so, so Chanel. Seeing some of the tweets that they were just a little bit more pastel-y, easter -y kind of shades. And I have my eye on a few ready to wear pieces. Most of them, they didn't have it <laughs> at the boutique. They only had one piece that I was eyeing, but um, I wasn't too convinced about it. I tried it and honestly, it just didn't suit me really well. I just didn't, no, it just unfortunately it's not for me, but there is a sweater that is very much alike to what I'm wearing today. By the way, I will be leaving everything that I'm using and all the details, as many details as possible links, they will be on the description box below. So anyhow, they didn't have it. <laughs> it hasn't arrived just yet. So my essay, she told me, don't you worry, as soon as I see it coming, I will let you know so that way you can come here to the boutique, try it and yeah. So hopefully, hopefully I can get my hands on it because it's just, so stunning it is so 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 beautiful and it's one piece that i really 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 would love to get my hands on it the only thing is that just with every new chanel um collection is that if you are not in person they can they cannot sell it and ship it to you during this kind of like the the lunch period, which is about the first week, almost two weeks of launching the collection. Basically, you have to be at the boutique to shop your stuff, which is just so annoying. But anyhow, so hopefully I can get my hands on it. Otherwise, well, then I have this piece. It's not Chanel, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, right? Whatever it is the case. But anyhow, I was able also to see some of the what you call it, the costume jewelry, because, well, fashion jewelry, I should say, because it's not like the real thing, like my Coco crush ring is, you know, but anyhow, there were some really nice pieces. Honestly, I was actually looking for some earrings too, but they didn't have much at the boutique from this collection in terms of jewelry. They had actually the two rings that I was eyeing, but... You know, after seeing them, trying them in person, they felt just so, I mean, I don't want to say cheap, but just, I will have rather just add a, you know, a little bit more and buy something that it was solid gold. Anyhow, yeah, there was really nothing that I tried. With. Well, actually there was one thing, uh -huh, is this beautiful choker necklace. It's a stunning, it is a stunning, and I may end up getting it. I'm just holding tight, but I'm sure that if somebody, you know, if somebody wants it, they are gonna buy it right away because it's so beautiful. It's stunning, also from this collection. So anyhow, I was able to look into the bags, and I remember about a week ago, I did a post on my IG and also here on my YouTube channel, well, not on my YouTube channel, but on my community tab. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you're subscribed and to ring that post notification bell because that's a really good way that we can communicate. So anyhow, I just went ahead and put up kind of like a poll where I asked which type of videos you wanted it to see first. And one of them was about the Chanel 23S collection. So thank you so much for all of those who participated. So here, here, hear me out uh oh my gosh the bags these time around the bags are really nice they are new mini seasonal bags in a specific i'm gonna tell you the sweet camellia it again is just for this season hopefully they will come in other seasons that will be amazing to see them in different colors but this bag they have it in two sizes one it is a rectangular size and it does have this beautiful gold, antique gold kind of chain with a little camellia. So very much alike to the Pearl Crush, but the biggest difference is that the Pearl Crush, it has one of the, 
straps it kind of like you adjust it but it's kind of dingling outside while this one the sweet camellia it loops all the way around so you can adjust it it can go crossbody shoulder um well you cannot really um, make it so small to be a top handle or I mean, if you tuck some of the chain inside, you can even use it as a cocktail kind of bag. So beautiful. So it comes in different shades. This is some pink shade, which I think it's stunning, beautiful, because it's not your typical pink. It's not a baby pink. It's not too bright of a pink. It's more of like a, not even a muted pink, not a pastel pink, but it's a soft pink with just a little bit of coolness in it a tiny bit is honestly one of those perfect pinks close to a blush kind of tone but a little bit deeper hopefully it makes sense but anyhow this bag is incredible because inside is super roomy is a flat bag it's kind of like having a chanel classic flap but a smaller with a flap it has the cc interlock and then inside it's leather which Usually with some of these mini bags, inside is all made out of fabric and therefore with time they may lose their shape a little. These ones are leather inside. So stunning, gorgeous, super roomy. And like I said, they come in two different sizes. One that is a smaller rectangular and one that it looks a little bit more squirtish. And honestly, if you have been eyeing a classic flap, and you are not up to pay the outrageous prices of right now. And let me tell you, the prices are going to still go up no matter what, okay? This is something that Chanel already has a dial in and that's it. So I will highly suggest if you're wanting to get any classic flaps, most likely try to look on the pre-love markets some of the pre-love side that have really good reputation they still have the prices at around seven thousand eight thousand which i know it is very expensive but in comparison with what you're paying right now for a classic flap i mean ten thousand and above because after tax that's what it is but yeah i will highly suggest to take a look very close look to these new sweet camellia bags if you're up to those oh you're gonna love it there is another bag that has the interlace chain with leather just as like a classic flap but it's a mini size and i think these are beautiful too the price is kind of like the sweet camellia if i'm not mistaken yeah i think it's 5600 they also come in two different sizes you can find them in black as well as in pink, the sweet camellia, they come in black, pink, yellow, and white. Um, so anyhow, these bags are all beautiful and it is a very smart move from Chanel because they know that not many people are gonna go for a classic flap as someone may used to. And this is a really good way to sell these seasonal bags. So. I think this is gonna go really well. Let me tell you something. When I arrived to my boutique, my essay told me, I have six bags on the back. So just take your time, look around, see what, you, what else you want before you make any decisions. By the time that I was like, I was still debating. Because, <laughs> um, they show me a classic flap in one of my favorite colors, which is a kind of this mauvey blush pink, which is that pink of the season. And oh my gosh, I was just so debating. It was a small classic flap, so still under the 10,000. It's still like so outrageously expensive now, $9,600, just so insane. But anyhow, I was debating between that and a couple other bags. So she told me, just take your time, don't rush, you know, you can be around. I do have other clients to help out, but I can always, um, you know, get back to you when you need to. So I was completely fine. I love my essay. She is the best. She's the sweetest one of all. I mean, honestly, she makes me feel like home. I, I text her, I'm arriving right now because I have to drive almost three hours from where I live all the way to where is located, the Chanel Boutique. And um, and honestly, I was just stepping out of the car and the security guard 
he was opening the door. I wasn't even going up the stairs. There was a line and she was already saying, welcome Jacqueline. Oh, that was so sweet. I mean, like, honestly, she is just amazing. Anyhow, she told me, oh, you can keep looking. So going back to the story, by the time that I was like, okay, I think I have a few bags in mind, mind you, that you can only purchase one bag a month. What, whatever bag it is, it's just one bag a month. You can do one bag and one, say, a small leather goods such as a wallet on chain or just something else, but you cannot really do two bags, right? So I have these three bags that I was like debating on so much, right? My, my, my heart, my soul was in there. And by the time that I was just trying to get done with my decision and just kind of like wrap it up, she told me well, out of the six bags, we only have now two left. The one from display and then one that is new of one of the bags that I wanted it. And then the classic flap, they still had three left. They started with actually four by the time that I was, there was only three. Anyhow, there you have it, friends. There you have it. So it, it was a very hard decision because this collection, honestly, most of the pieces are beautiful. They have amazing little small leather goods that they just are fantastic. There's one that has this interlock CC logo but it has a little bit of like embellish with white and a little bit of rhinestones. It looks so cute. Then they had the same one, but in a wallet on chain too. Stunning. They had another couple wallets on chains that they have that interlace a strap with a leather and the metal chain that looks reminiscent of a classic flap. And... I will say the only thing with the wallet on chains, I think they are just way too steep right now. I mean, we're talking about wallets on chains. They are $4,400 for a wallet and just a chain. I think they should have stayed under the $3,000, $2,300, $2,500. That's what it feels like they are worth it, but they are not a bad bag. I think they are just stepping too high up. And once again, these bags, they are just going to keep going up in price. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. So the Camellia ones, I feel those are, I don't want to say a great price because these are these prices are just like outrageous. But I think they are a good price for the style, the look, the versatility of the bag, being leather outside and inside they are lambskin so if you don't like lambskin that's something that you may want to you know consider i you know my friends i love lambskin i'm fine i do have one chanel yeah because i do have one that is lambskin then i have some other ones caviar and i'm fine with my lambskin i think it's just completely fine it's just a way that you take care of it but this bag, the Sweet Camellia, they are just so pretty. They are so beautiful. And like I said, they are very structured. They have, they are roomy because you're not dealing with the double flap. You're dealing with just one flap. So it gives a lot of room. And as well, the price, although, like I was saying, it's, is not inexpensive because we're talking about the small one is $5,600. And then the size bigger to that so there are two sizes is five thousand nine hundred dollars for only three hundred dollars more you get a bigger size bag unfortunately at the boutique they only had one black one and you may be wondering Jacqueline but a black one that would have been amazing because I know a lot of people look for black I think this bag it's gonna be such a huge hit this season that they are gonna have to bring it back and I'm sure in black it's gonna come even more but I'm sure that after they see the demand of this bag, most likely this bag will be the next one to go up in price. So just saying, just saying right there, because it's a really good bag. Now, other bags that they were, they were not at the, at least I was not able to see any on display. I think they flew out of the window. Oh, because that's another thing. I made my appointment to go to the, to the Chanel boutique the day of the lunch, but it was raining so bad here in my area. There were some closures on the road, so I couldn't even just move any farther than that. And it was just simply dangerous. In fact, when I decided that, well, 
I was driving to go there and then the first road closure faced me. I said, you know what? No, I'm just not, I'm not going to put myself in danger. I went back. I texted my essay and as soon as I arrived home, the light went off and it didn't come back until the morning of next day. Imagine that. So anyhow, so I imagine that the Chanel 22 bag, which is a bag that I love, this season they come in minis and they are, they're about, it seems like they are about this size. They are not that big. They say Chanel. There are a couple metallic shades. This season comes with a lot of pastel yellow pastel pink uh, white and did I say pastel green yeah pastel green too and then these metallic shades I love my Chanel 22 bag and I like the size that I have which is a small size but this mini I don't feel attracted to it because I feel that the logo looks like it's overtaking the entire bag. I know it's very popular and I know that perhaps that's why I wasn't able to see not even one in boutique. I guess they were sold out and I honestly didn't even ask, didn't even occur to me because it wasn't on my radar. And then while I was looking to all these bags, I never have seen a Chanel Trendy CC in person and my SI took one out for me in pink. It was gorgeous, beautiful but it was just too big for my frame. I think that it was just too large, too bulky. I'm sure that if I was like 5'7 or 5'5, five five, I'm 5, okay, 5 and a cherry, call it that. I'm tiny, so this bag, it just looked too much on me. One thing that I love is on the top, where is the plate where it says Chanel, the Chanel logo is interlaced with a leather, oh my gosh, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Honestly, stunning bag. But yeah, it was just like too, just too big for my frame. I think this season, honestly, if you want to get that Chanel look of a classic flap, your best bet are, I'm going to put some images and the names of the bags. Like I said, the Sweet Camellia and there's another bag. I don't remember the name, but I will put it right here that I think they are perfect for that look. And then the wallet on chains. If your budget is below the 5,000, then the wallet on chains. Like I said, they are not specifically a bag, but they are easy and you will get so much use out of them. Anyhow, friends, these are the bags that really caught my attention. There were another little bags with the tweed and the little handle. I think those are cute bags, seasonal bags, something that, you know, they come and they will perhaps never come again, right? Mostly with the tweed, but they are just, yeah, they are not for me. I saw the shoes, the shoes that they are a little bit popular right now with this big bow and it looks like you're having a sock with a shoe. I don't know, I don't know, I just, eh that's not for me it's something that I will never 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 use so the shoes were a little bit like me you know they were okay but nothing like so like wow these are spectacular I think this season the ready to wear pieces some of the jewelry are really nice and then yeah the bags the bags and although the sweet camellia and the other bag that I'm telling you that I don't recall the name they are also seasonal I have a strong feeling that the demand is just going to be so high that most likely Chanel may bring it back. And if not, oh my gosh, then, then I don't know. I don't know. I feel that they are going to go really high up on price on the resale market. And that's going to be a bummer. So if you're eyeing those, I will highly suggest you to take a look at them. And while I was at the boutique, I was able to ask about the Chanel LeBlanc collection and they confirmed me the same thing that I heard before and that I mentioned it before on another videos of mine. The collection is going to launch on April 1st here in the United States, although they do have it already at certain boutiques. They do have it. <laughs> they do have it. They just have it locked because they are not, they are not allowed to sell them just yet. So don't you worry, it's going to come in boutiques and I'm pretty sure it will come not only boutiques, also Chanel's website. If 
for any reason it launched before that, I will make sure to update my description box here. Let you know, obviously, on my Instagram, IG stories, here on my YouTube channel, in the community tab. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. And yes, is it is April 1st today. But a sneak peek right here. Here it is the blush. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. So, <laughs> okay, one more sneak peek because you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Here you go. This is the Delice eyeshadow guard. So, I will be uploading my review fairly soon here too on my channel. I'm just waiting a little because I know anytime that I upload something that, you know, is not fully launched yet, although these are available already in Europe and Canada, I honestly do not want to, you know, overwhelm you or feel that FOMO sensation, the fear of missing out of something that hasn't even launched yet. But April 1st is going to be launching. And you may be wondering, do you got anything, Jacqueline? <laughs> I got some food. Uh, well, I got a couple things actually. So I'm not gonna unbox it here. I know, I know that's cruel of me, but uh, stay tuned because I will be doing an unboxing of the, the items that I got for this 23S collection that I'm so, so excited about. Okay, my friends, and this makes it for this video. Let me know which of these pieces from the 23S collection is the one that you are eyeing the most, the one that is attracting you the most. If you have gone yet to the boutiques to take a look at it, anything that you are still interested on or you're just simply not not getting anything Chanel not interested at all let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be amazing if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share it with family and friends and until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye.